Carl DeVito, a professor emeritus in the mathematics department at the University of Arizona in Tucson. In an interview with Space.com, Dr. DeVito explained, designing a signal that attracts attention and on examination is clearly the work of intelligence is a complex problem. In his book, Science, SETI, and Mathematics, the article went on to indicate that DeVito had a different approach, an approach of perhaps identifying mutual interest between species. He suggests that for two societies to be able to exchange precise scientific information of mutual interest, they must first learn each other's units of measurement. Together with linguist R.T. Orle, DeVito has developed a language for exactly that purpose, potentially enabling civilization from different star systems to report to each other the masses of their planets, the chemical composition of their atmospheres, or the energy output of their host star. DeVito admitted for the language to work, the following assumption needed to be made first. Both societies, the humans and the extraterrestrial life form, can count and do arithmetics. Both societies recognize the chemical elements and the periodic table. Both have made a quantitative study of the states of matter. Both know enough chemistry to carry out chemical calculations. Regarding these suppositions, all known to humans by the 19th century, the Vito said we can communicate the gram, the calorie, the degree in Kelvin, and our units of pressure. But potential difficulties of this approach were identified. For one, an alien race might start with a different geometry and derive its laws of motion in that geometry, which the results might be very different from the formulation of the laws that are familiar to us. The video said, he continued, the mathematics of motion is differential calculus. Can we assume that an alien race shares this with us? 